So the next question comes from Dave Topman and he says, Hi Harry, I followed your experiment and thought it was class. You've explained yourself brilliantly throughout. My question would be now, where do you go from now? Will you be competing again anytime soon or ever again or go into powerlifting again? And then he mentioned that he's going to sign up for online coaching, which you haven't done yet. So give me an email. So first question, where do you go from now? And I guess that kind of goes into the next one. Will you be competing again anytime soon or ever again? So the, the plan was to do the show on the 3rd and then basically do there was another one coming up next weekend and then it's basically like four shows in about five or six weeks and i was planning on doing them all providing i got to the final so obviously i got to the final to the mpa one i was going to do uk dfba which is next week but as i mentioned before in the previous question about imposing on other people it did start to get to the point where it was starting to impose on other people and it also got to the point where i felt that i'd kind of maximized my condition so if I wanted to improve my condition any further than I did in the MPA, I would need to like really dig and really struggle and that would have just imposed on people even more. And you can call it a cop out, but to be honest, I don't really care. Like I got in a better condition than 99% of people will ever get. I was really, really happy with it, really happy with my performance. I won, albeit a very small class. So yeah, I, I guess I felt that doing more competitions, I don't think I would have achieved a better performance. And because my whole goal was to beat my condition from last year and I felt I did that and I felt I maximised as far as I could go. What's the point in competing? Because I'm not doing it to win it. I happen to win it, but I'm not doing it to win it. I'm doing it to beat myself. So I, I achieved that, so I'm not going to be doing any more competitions this year. Will I compete ever again? It's funny, like, as soon as you finish a competition, you're like, no. And then a couple of years later, you're like, I'm going to compete again. I would definitely say that this prep has been the easiest prep that I've done and the it was only the last couple of weeks where I really, really struggled. So I wouldn't rule it out. I have no plans. I'm not going to say I'm going to pick a bit again in two years, can be again in three years or anything like that. I'm not going to rule it out. But for now, in terms of bodybuilding, not for the rest of this year, certainly not next year. The year after that, maybe if it falls right, it just fell right in terms of the period of life I was in this year. So it all depends on that, really. But I will definitely be investigating some sort of powerlifting stuff. Obviously, Charlotte wants to do another powerlifting comp. I will do another powerlifting comp. But again, not to win it, but to just improve on my lifts, just improve my 1RMs. It gives me that focus and it makes me train a lot harder. And that is why I like powerlifting, because it just gives me something to aim for, basically. So I'll definitely be doing that in the GBPF not sure when, probably not this year. I think there are a couple of competitions in spring of next year. So no doubt I'll just try and build my strength up to where it was, hopefully by the new year, and then start to really push for next year. And again, document all of that on YouTube as well. So, so yeah, thank you for the question, Dave. Hopefully that has answered that. Okay, so last question from Facebook was from Dave Andrews. Dave, hope you're doing well. So good work, H videos have been my morning ritual along with my proats. Thank you. And he asks, similar to Dave's actually, I would ask what's next? You have achieved so much now and put your body through a lot. Weight loss, muscle gain, strength, etc, etc. So where now? I guess it's more of the same. Like everyone, it doesn't matter where you are on your fitness journey or how you look or how strong you are. You want to get stronger. You want to get bigger. You want to get leaner. You want to look like an adult. Adonis. So that's it. It's just a constant pursuit of strength and body composition. So in terms of that stuff, that is where I'm going to be going with that. I will get really, really strong now, or at least try and get really, really strong. And then I'll probably do mini cuts along the way to kind of take some of the fluff off, clean up a little bit, and then just keep trying to be, I guess, kind of a, an, I'd like to be like an inspiration to people. Like a few people said it after my comp. They're like, it's really inspirational seeing you get into that condition and win your show and go through all the prep and video and everything and it's a real inspiration to them and I'd like to be that so for me that is a motivation in itself to continue to get stronger and improve my body composition and get bigger and hopefully show what can be achieved when you put the hard work in and documenting it as much as I can via video and Instagram pictures hashtag no filter and all that stuff hopefully I can, I guess, inspire people or at least give people the motivation to go and do it themselves. Now, in terms of business stuff, there is definitely some interesting projects and stuff that I want to be working on. Not to give too much away, not that it's necessarily a secret, but I've in the past been guilty of being very biased towards certain people, certain practices, certain things, and not entertain certain protocols because... It just didn't fit in with my bias. Whereas I've realised that the more open-minded you are, the 
more context you can have for other people as well. So things such as vegetarianism, veganism, intermittent fasting, CrossFit, Olympic lifting, this is all stuff where I'd kind of, well, not so much Olympic lifting, but I'd kind of like poo-pooed. I'd almost said, oh, that's a load of rubbish. I'm never going to do that. Never going to try that. But actually, why? Like, I have no, absolutely no context. I've never done it. And I always say to people, don't knock it till you tried it. And for the majority of things, I absolutely agree. Obviously, there's things like Prime that you may not want to do, but... I'm basically going to be investigating a lot of those things through like 30 day or 28 day or 45 day, I don't know, some arbitrary amount of day challenges where I'm essentially going to eat vegan for 30 days. So that if I have a client that comes to me and says I'm vegan, I can say, right, these are the protein sources, these are the protein sources you want to be eating together to get the right amino acid profile. Because at the moment, I don't know that. And I'd like to know that. I'd just be interested to know that and have that knowledge and just learn all the time. And I was speaking to Alex during one of our catch-ups and he said that he just wants to be a lifelong learner. And I'm exactly the same. I just want to learn this stuff. I want to learn about CrossFit rather than just saying CrossFit's rubbish actually learn it and see if there's any way where I can bring it to people and say actually CrossFit's good you just don't program like an idiot or make sure that you know how to lift before you even start and things like that without necessarily just saying that it's a load of rubbish so that is kind of where I'm going forward in terms of a business sense as well.